candid person is a South Paw. Well, David, usually I ask you questions, but tonight I think you're going to ask me one. It sounds like a riddle, but it's not actually, Richard. Uh, what is the difference between, or what is the similarity, I should say, uh, between an ostrich, that uh, bird of Africa, and the Chinese game Mahjong? An ostrich and Mahjong. Um, they both got seven letters. <laughs> Well, that's a start. Uh, I suppose you could also argue that uh, one is formally a game bird, uh, the other is a game. But mm, uh, Well, I don't know about the game. I mean, I actually don't know how to play Mahjong. I think it might be dangerous to play with an ostrich. <laughs> Are we getting close? <laughs> We're getting close, but the, uh, the real reason lies in the history of the words, uh, and they are quite fascinating, and there is a word that uh, they share. Now, the ostrich, which was uh, named by the Greeks uh, Struthio Camelus, and that means sparrow camel. Sparrow camel. That is a very weird combination. <laughs> it is, but uh, it's also very descriptive of the ostrich. If you uh, look at the bird, it has a very tiny head, a little sparrow-like, you could say, with that long camel-like or llama-like neck. Um, so there's the, um, the, the sparrow that is captured in that uh, zoological name. But in Mahjong, it's actually Mandarin for sparrow. Now, Mahjong is a game played with either bamboo, ivory, uh, tiles... Uh, or wooden tiles, um, and it has 136 or 144, depending upon which version you play. But there's all sorts of speculation about why is it called sparrow. Uh, in the bamboo suit, it is the sparrow that is the first of the bamboo suits, but also it's a, a little bit if, like the pecking of the tiles or the chirping of the players is another possibility. But the ostrich and the mahjong have sparrow in common. That is a fascinating and somewhat unexpected link. <laughs> you heard it here first on Letters and Numbers. Thank you, David. Let's have a look at our scores. Sam and Leanne both sitting on 18 points as we head into our next letters on this Thursday night. And uh, Leanne, can you deliver those, please? Um, can I start with a consonant, please, Lily? Thank you. G. And a vowel. I. And another consonant. S. And another one, please. H and a vowel, A and a consonant, T and a vowel, O, another vowel please, E and we'll end with a consonant please. And lastly, R. Time to think. shortage of, uh, of talent on this show. Shortage is the eighth there, Richard. Good stuff. So, six each for Sam and Leanne. Well, there's no splitting these two at the moment on 24 each. Sam, some more letters. Lily, can I please have a consonant? Thank you. N. And another one. D. And another one. C. And another one, please. M. And a vowel, please. U. And another vowel, please. A. And another vowel, please. E. And a consonant this time. R. And could I please have another vowel? And last letter, A. 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, same word, crane. Crane, would you uh, just verify 
These two are just travelling neck and neck, David. <laughs> yeah, but with Christmas so close, you could have turned craned those six letters into dancer, one of the uh, reindeers. <laughs> uh, let's be seasonal about this. It's a good six. Uh, now, unarmed is there, Richard, a nice seven. And if you mix up unarmed, you get a, a very unusual word, but a lovely word, and it's maunder, M-A-U-N-D-E-R, which is to ramble on foolishly. We never do that here, fortunately. Six each for Sam and Leanne. We're on 30 all now, but we should head for some different numbers. Leanne, what's your favourite combination? I think I'll go the family mix, please, Lily. Two large and four small. Thanks, Leanne. Two large and four small. And our numbers. Ten, nine, one, two, and the two large, fifty and one hundred. The target to reach is five hundred and ninety-two. Here we go. Subtracted the nine for five nine one. Take away the nine and add it on the one for five hundred and ninety-two. Well done, five hundred and ninety-two. Right on the target. Lovely work, Leanne. Uh, Sam, did you do it the same? Exactly way? the same. Exactly the same. Would you uh, mind verifying? Lovely. Well, Lee, that was very nice. I would like to demonstrate that I've remembered tweakage from oh. you because I think this is a fairly straightforward example of tweakage, yep. which is fifty plus nine. 50 plus 9 times 10 by 10 plus 2 590 plus 2 well done there you go. nice simple one thank you for that but uh, it was a, a, a good straightforward result yeah you would have done it the same way well I, I, I didn't use the tweaking but I'm very impressed Richard well done oh well see I remember something <laughs> well done to Sam and Leanne they scored 10 points each and still they are level peggy, 40 all. We're heading for another break. It's another word mix for you, overt hum. And the clue this time, a drink and where you put it. See you soon. <laughs>